Welcome to Stencil Works, the best creator ever. You're going to want to make a new game by clicking here. Okay, now you're going to want to name your game Jump because we're going to be teaching you how to jump in this tutorial from Stencil Works. Okay, once you have created your game, you're going to want to make an actor that looks like a player. You're going to want to name your player. Um, you, you, you can name him after yourself if you want. We'll, we'll name this. We'll name this player, Corey. Blob. Corey. Okay. Once you've named your actor, you're going to want to make sure that this actor can interact with the world by giving it a collision box. <laughs> okay, well, a rock will make an animation. A <laughs> rock's gonna now choose an animation for. <laughs> this is not. <laughs> Okay, whatever, just uh, p pick an animation frame for Cory. Once you've got a polished looking animation. Once you've got a polished looking animation, you are going to want to make sure Cory can interact with the world, giving him a collision box. Oh, um, you are next going to want to set the physics variables so that he can act how he is chosen to. For example, if you want Cory to spin allow rotating, if not, don't. And uh, for this demonstration, you are going to want him to be affected by gravity and also able to move so he can jump. Now you're going to want to make a behavior titled jump. Um, there are different categories to organize your behavior. Jump is a motion, so put it under motion. <laughs> Talking. Welcome to design mode. Here are a plethora of different blocks you can use that make it easy and fun to create flash games in a flash. Despite pop <laughs> Despite popular belief these blocks suck. They are actually good. <laughs> uh, oh um uh put the blocks together so they're like logic maybe, I don't know. And the work. <laughs> test the game. Yeah, test it. <laughs> then publish it. And you'll get all the money. <laughs> Just put a scratch cat on the scene and make him rotate. <laughs> <laughs>
You should reload the page it's on on the site 700,000 times <laughs> for popularity. <laughs> We're getting a scratch cat from the scratch user base. Those guys the sure are cat, slow. The scratch cat is the logo for the popular game creation tool, Scratch, that isn't as good as stencil work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are we making the spinning cat? Okay. Jumping spinning cat. Uh, go to actor. And then motion, and then set y velocity to something at force. Uh, I don't know. Just punch in a number that you want in the move. Okay. Okay. And make sure that is set to happen when the jump button is pushed. Which, which, which for this. Go, go go to user input and set when... Oh, wait, we haven't even set the controls yet. Okay, what are the default controls? Okay, action 2. If action 2 is pressed, then make actor move upward negative 500 velocity. <laughs> Now make a scene and put the freaking animation there and see if he jumps. Oh, that's the behavior to the core of the actor. <laughs> <laughs> Here is a good opportunity. <laughs> Sense of force, you mean? Here is a good opportunity. If you use Stencil Forge, where we will go on Stencil Forge and go to tile sets and download Blob's mixed grass tile set or tiles. Okay, once you've downloaded that, you're going to want to make a scene with some random <laughs> tiles on it and then put the Scratch Cat Cory. Uh, Cory. Okay, so once we got the tiles and we got the Cory cat down. Uh, where is funny sometimes? Okay, now set the gravity to like two. Downward. And now you should be able to make Cory jump. Oh, uh, you want to hit the test theme. Now hit the jump action. Okay, good. <laughs> and that's the tutorial. This has been your host, Blob. When's the disconnected? My name. Justin. <coughs> what? This is Justin. Bye. <laughs>